Hey guys, hi, my name is Les Camacho. I'm a recording engineer in LA. Uh, I've worked with Chris Isaac, Fleetwood Mac, Alan Parsons. I've done some stuff for Pink Floyd and uh, also just got done tracking with um, the new Massive Attack record. Um, we just actually did a quick session, which you just heard, of uh, all Audix on a drum kit. Uh, the guys from Audix were nice enough to send us some toys to play with and um, we just had a lot of fun with it. So what you just heard was all tracked with all Audix microphones on the whole drum kit. And uh, the crew was laughing because they let me put this sensitive little beautiful mic that Audix just made on a kick drum. And uh, I was just informed that this microphone is actually a vocal and acoustic instrument mic. So sorry, Phil. Sorry, Cliff. I hope this thing goes back to you in one piece. Although the kick drum sounded amazing. Um, you know, if you guys want to use it on kick drums at home, I wouldn't recommend it because you'll probably end up blowing it. Uh, I was very careful. It has a lot of gain. And, uh, you know, I was surprisingly, surprisingly enough, it was really freaking cool, man. It's got a lot of, got a lot of balls, for lack of a better word. Can I say balls on camera? Cool. Uh, anyways, so, um, yeah, so the guys pretty much let me uh, put this thing in and uh, on the kick drum here. And uh, it sounded great. As far as the rest of the microphones, I have a D6 inside the kick drum which is my always my go-to microphone for live sound and sometimes in the studio. Actually, a lot of times in the studio. It's a D6 on the kick drum. And uh, they just sent me uh, out here one of these brand new spanking SCX1s. The SCX1 sounds great on the hi-hat. Got a pair of um, Audix's 51, ADX 51s on the overhead. And uh, I really like, I really, really, really like. I'm actually probably going to have to buy these. So... Uh, and on the toms, I got D2s, D2s, and a D4. And on the snare, I got an Audix i5. Um, I love the snap on the snare off the i5. I'm probably going to end up buying that one too. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, again, vocal, acoustic instrument mic, i.e. guitars and stuff like that. Wouldn't recommend to put it on the kick drum, but if you do, be very careful. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised of the result you get out of it uh, outside of a kick drum. Mind you, I'm using it outside the kick drum and not inside. And uh, I'm really happy with the result of all these mics. And I guess I'm going to have to send the boys a check now because I want to keep them all. So, uh, again, I'm Les Camacho. And uh, I hope you like the sounds we got on this uh, audio demo for you guys. The DP7 contains seven microphones. At the heart of this system is the popular D6 dynamic kick drum microphone. For the snare drum, the recently developed I5 is included. For rack toms, there are two D2 mics and a D4 for the floor tom. Finally, for the overheads, there are two ADX51 condenser microphones with pad and roll-off.